School House Intuitive Tarot. I'm here to do a weekly Libra reading for all placements of Libra. This is for around March 25th to the 31st, and, you know, time's approximate. We'll get Oracle cards, tarot, and see what wants to come out for love, money, uh, you know, general reading stuff, just whatever wants to come out, messages for your greatest, highest good. First, you have vocalization, Libra. So this is about your self-expression, card 32. It could be that you're vocalizing your need for some sort of change or an important choice here. This is about your inner voice being very assertive. Uh, your uniqueness is coming through. Let's see what else we have. I just heard something about somebody eating a lot of chocolate, okay? So <laughs> my guys are telling me something about chocolate, lots of chocolate. <laughs> All right. Card 21. So this is confidence, self-love. It's about your self-esteem. So it's this, you know, this first card was connected to your throat chakra. This next card is connected to your confidence. So it is about your confidence and speaking up, self-esteem, self-expression. They're linked. So this is, uh, you know, knowing your self-worth, moving forward with pride, with integrity, and a lot of self-love. You may find you need a lot of self-care this week, Libra. And we do have, we are in eclipse season. We have the powerful uh, partial lunar eclipse in our sign this Monday. So let's see what else we have for Libras. I think for now, I'd like to go, um, I'd like to go right here. I have a variety of decks I use. All the decks I use are in the description box as is the disclaimer reminding you you have free will final say your intuition knows best this is a general reading it's not a personal reading okay not everything will resonate okay libra this self-expression okay crossing bridges it's time for some sort of healing connecting mending releasing yet you may just feel you need to get something off your chest so to speak you have to you know, speak it out, even if you're not saying it to that other party, it could be that you're needing to say it out loud to the, the universe to, uh, you know, in your journal or something like that. Or it can also be, you know, of course, art is also a big form of self expression, but somehow you're getting it out because it is time for you to heal and release something. And that'll bring you a, it's kind of like it'll develop a bridge to help you go over a certain um, obstacle, maybe. Fog in, go slow, take your time. I'm picking up on rest. Some of you are really going to need some rest this week, and it's going to be tempting to kind of overdo it. I'm definitely feeling an energy of, um, you know, definitely wanting to avoid some sort of um, any sort of <clears throat> conflict, chaos, that sort of thing. Holding yourself, Libra, in high regard as you express. And as you stay confident in your truth, not letting anyone define your truth for you, Libra. I'm hearing the name Edward as well. This could be a crossed over loved one, or I'm picking up on your energy, Libra. <clears throat> Let me go into tarot now and see. I have, I'm going to be using a deck that I've had for a while, but I've been kind of waiting for a special, special time to use it. And I feel with spring and the new astrological year here, now that we're in airy season, that I'm going to bring this out. It's called Dreamy Moons. Dreamy Moons Tarot. Okay, here we go. Let's see. It's just greatest, highest good of the Libra Collective. Okay. Well, okay, Libra, Eight of Cups. Okay, so you may be walking away from something. Now, remember... When you're walking away, you're also walking towards something different, something new, okay? So you're moving on something. There's something also, too, I'm getting right now about sort of self-sacrifice. And you don't need to please everyone at this time, all right? Because there's something going on here, Libra, that you yourself may be the one requiring the healing and the support. And so it's really not about just trying to please others. I'm getting this week as being like jam packed. Okay. Like you have so much going on for some of you, either it's one big thing, like big project or big um, decision or something going on, or you just, you're trying to get maybe ahead of work or something. Queen of crystals. All right. Um, and that's in this deck, the queen of crystals is actually the queen of swords. So that's our energy. So the queen of swords, you know, very analytical, um, you know, 
definitely very clear. That's also, again, about the self-expression, the queens, especially, you know, this is the queen of two, especially this and the queen of wands, I feel are just like super confident energies, very decisive. And, you know, when it's time for them to move on, they absolutely make that choice. They move on, but it's on their own terms. So not rushing yourself, not um, making it so you feel fogged in, you know, so allowing that clarity to come in, Libra, however that needs to come. Um, happen for you, whatever you need to do to get yourself there. So you're not feeling, um, you know, confused in your own, in your own self and in your own, um, it's almost like self-efficacy, you know, feeling your own self-efficacy when it comes to making certain decisions or moving forward, feeling how, um, how powerful you are in this and how you will indeed make the right decision. Um, you will indeed, you know, be able to figure out this week and have it have it uh, all work out but it's like you, there are some precautions i feel um when it comes to this energy of this week because there's something complex here and it could just be that a lot's going on this week or there's again like one big thing let's see what else we're getting though let me see what else we have oh wow lots of cards libra a lot of cards want to come out for you so yeah we have a 10 of crystals which is a 10 of swords this is kind of the shared energy. And then here we are again. So we have Gemini energy, Libra energy here with the justice card. Wow. Okay. Um, now, lover's card has to do, yes, it can have to do with romantic love. But what I feel mostly that it has to do with is alignment. Are things really aligning for you? You know, are you confident in the direction you're going through? Are you, um, are you able to move forward and cross this bridge with the eight of cups? Um, you know, you're feeling good about your decision. What matters is it is that you feel good about your decision. You could feel like you are just ending something. You're at the end of something. This can also, for me, this is one of my surgery cards that can indicate some sort of surgery, uh, psychic surgery or actual physical surgery um, that you or a loved one may be going through. And it's for the better, but in, there's still, um, you know, it's like there could still be some things in the in the way. Okay, so for example, surrender to stress. So take a few deep breaths, exhale the tension that you've built up that you've built up from your body. It almost looks like this person's resting in this card, Libra. So it's almost like yeah, they have all these crystals coming from them or going into them or whatever you want to view it. You know, perspective is just what you know. We have our individual perspectives here, but um. Because you could look at this as a card of growth with that new beginning and the fact that the crystals seem to be pointing out up, you know, unless they're double pointed. So they're probably, you know, painful. It generally is a painful ending, but it's, it's again, it's like it's to get to, some, to a place where things are better, where things are, are uh, clearer. Definitely there's clarity that comes after that ten of swords. Things become very crystal clear, if you will. Um, now I get why they named them crystals. <laughs> so, um, but, but then you have the lovers here. So things being in alignment and kind of around this, it's about justice and the truth. Your truth is what matters, Libra. You're going to be, um, again, there's this message of like holding yourself in high regard and letting stress go. Okay. As you come back to center, because you may find some of you that, um, I don't like covering her eyes. So, <laughs> um, you may find that, you know, whatever's going on here, stress-wise, uh, again, there could be an increase of stress, an inc increase of, you know, workload or some sort of, a, I'm actually picking up on financial gain for some of you this week. So some of you could have a payday, so to speak, but we will look into money after um, we do a few more cards here with, with regard to the general reading portion. So um, balance. Okay, again, it's like you're needing to take a time out, a period of rest. You may be needing to rest this week, even though it's a very busy week. You may be wondering, how am I going to rest when I have all this stuff going on? You're going to have to carve out those little moments, even if it's, you know, a, a 10 minute sit outside, outside of work, you know, on your break, go outside or, you know, do what you can to sort of connect again with nature or whatever else grounds you, Libra. I have another um, oracle message coming in with this, and that is the dark. Take a moment to sit under the star-speckled sky. So that's another option for you. And this is listening to crickets, breathing in the cool night air. It's funny because I did have that, like, 
needing to go outside, even if it's just for 10 minutes, but just needing to, to sit, to clear with those clear, with that fresh air. Well, depending on where you live, I'm hoping you will have fresh air. Um, but the breathing in that fresh air, it's definitely a reset for us, Libra, when we can do that, when we connect to any element of the earth, you know, um, be it fire, uh, water, you know, or sunshine would be fire, or uh, whether it's, you know, water or, um, did I say earth? Yeah, earth, well, oh, air, you know, the sky even. So uh, connecting it on in um, multiple ways, Libra. Nope, not time for that deck yet. Okay, I hear you. So some questions we may need to ask ourselves too here. Um, this is the Monica Louvre. I think it's questions tarot. But anyway, um, if you just put in Monica Louvre tarot, you'll find that. And it's also in the description box. The high priestess here. So what is your intuition trying to tell you, Libra? Intuition, that's Pisces energy. Now I'm very much getting um, two sides here. There are two sides to every story. There are two sides to this equation because we have the lovers, we have the scales here with justice, and we have the high priestess. So I am getting, there's like multiples of twos here. Um, and then of course, this very balanced um, energy of the queen of crystals. And you'll notice just the, the, the sides of her throne, her stability. There's like two, there are two supports. You may have a couple of supports coming in. You may feel that you're in need of some kind of support. So yes, what is your intuition trying to tell you though? Maybe we can answer that question. Let's see. Intuition, infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into your life. Maybe you feel that something good is in fact heading your way, Libra, after this moving on energy of the eight of cups and the 10 of crystals. Let's see what else we have. Oh, wow. Okay. Another 10 of swords. Now, Libra, this is a, you know, we have 10, 10 now. Okay. So 10, 10 could be an important number for you, Libra. Um, this is about, you know, what's being closed off or blocked out of your reality. So are you feeling in the dark about something, Libra? Are you feeling in the dark as far as some sort of partnership, as far as if something is indeed, um, you know, meant for you. Um, this kind of coincides with that fogged in card nicely, um, but making sure that before you move forward, you are, you are clear on what is it that um, is closed out or blocking, um, like something that's uh, blocked out of your own reality. Is there something you're not seeing? Vast vistas. Maybe you're not seeing a way to expand your horizons here. Maybe you're not seeing the that things really are, you know, limitless possibilities here. Maybe it's hard to stay optimistic at this time, Libra. Let's see what else we have. Oop. All right. So we have the three of wands. Now this is, a, again, it's like a new phase, you know, so what new phase of your life are you ready to pursue? Um, it's, I'm getting justice for some of you just want some things to like even out. Um, I hear I have Aries energy here. We have finding sanctuary. So this is opening up to your own spiritual source, maybe going out of your comfort zone there, maybe trying some new things out with regard to spirituality. Um, that could help you feel a little more balanced. And it could also help you get that clarity that you are seeking at this time, according to the cards, Libra. There may be something else though that we need to surrender to. And that is to the beauty of the natural world. So again, you need to take that relaxing break sometime this week, Libra. Spend some time in nature. If you can't go out into it, bring it in with plants, with rocks, with you know uh, leaves, whatever it is you need to, however you can bring it in, getting a little water fountain or something. You know, Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy of nature, okay? Uh, we are all connected, we are, right? All right, so let's see. Um, if you have some angel questions right now, go ahead and think of those questions, pause the video. I'll do a one, two, three. And again, Libra, remember you have free will final say your intuition knows best, of course, especially in this general reading. I mean, your intuition knows best period. I would never argue that, but, um, but yeah, if you are wondering, Hey, what am I tuning into right now? Card wise with these angel cards, uh, let's get you three questions, you know, sort of like a yes, no. They don't have to be yes, no, though. So what would you like to know? Question one, think of it. Pause the video and here's the card. Get more information. 
Libra, this came out for you in the um, timeless reading I just did for you that posted on Thursday. So you may want to watch that reading if you haven't already. Um, that, that, that had some, it was a lot to do with your ascension, Libra, and how to get through something again. Uh, you know, it's sort of this sort of uh, getting through and it was kind of like similar. It feels similar to this reading. So whatever it is that's on your mind could certainly be something that's really affecting you in a lot of ways, Libra, but you are encouraged to get more information. All right, next, next card. Think of your question. Ask your angels. All right. So some of you, in order to get that clarity, getting yourself out of that two of swords, it's, it, you know, you're encouraged leaning into your, your spirituality, or at least the very least expanding your horizons. Okay. Um, so if you're asking, and if you're not sure what's blocking you, what's preventing you from receiving these blessings you so want, Libra, ask your angels for assistance. All right. And next question, third question from the angels forgiveness. All right. So in order to, uh, you know, really kind of feel that, that your full ascension, if you will, or your, your full, uh, awakening or, you know, being able to really free yourself from something and get clarity, forgiveness, may be something that you need to think about. Um, or maybe you're receiving some forgiveness from someone, even roles can always be reversed, but, uh, forgiveness, you know, holding grudges really just keeps us stuck. Right. Um, so when we do forgive, we, again, it's like not forgetting. I always say that, but it is, um, freeing yourself. Think of the fool, you know, you're freeing yourself from that, that energy, that negative vibe, low vibe energy there that's keeping you stuck. Okay. All right. So don't spend too much time in despair, move through the emotions and release it. That's what we have. Okay. If this forgiveness card. Because if you're spending a lot of time down there, you know, thinking things over, you're being, you're, you're choosing to kind of focus on the past when really we only have the present, right? And, you know, we can also plan for the future, but um, we really can't go back. And it's very, you know, it's, it's sad in a lot of ways for some of us, especially when we've lost someone and we didn't get closure or whatever, but, but we do in fact need to free ourselves from that. And I firmly believe that our loved ones on the other side, when they cross over, they're actually, they no longer uh, have like anger and hostility and, and that sort of thing. They're no longer, you know, tied to this physical realm. And with that, I feel that, you know, they ascend basically. And so they're not tied to, you know, earthly matters that once bothered them about us or whatever, you know, and the, the arguments we might have had, that's all gone. That's not their energy anymore. Okay. Their energy is much more elevated. And, um, that's, that's my belief. And that's actually been my experience, um, through dreams and communications with the other realm and stuff, um, that, that kind of like all is forgiven on their side to you. So it's, you know, important that you forgive yourself, Libra. So whatever, so whoever needs to hear that, forgive yourself. Okay. Um, we forgive others for ourselves as selfish as it may sound. Hey, whatever we need to do to get there, to make sure that we are whole again, and we are living our best life because when we do that, we actually positively affect the collective energy and we all are in fact connected. All right. Cause everything is energy. Let's see what else we have. You are currently under construction. Please be patient. Yeah, you're definitely, um, there's this Ascension vibe coming through again in this reading. So again, although this week may be difficult for some of you and di all it'll vary for, for all of you. Um, just know that even if you don't see progress this week, or if this week is quite arduous or, or stressful or emotional, you're still heading in the right direction, right? If that's, if you've put yourself in this alignment period and that's, that's your intention and, and that, you know, you're only going to be, um, allowing yourself to connect with, um, energy that is for your greatest, highest good, uh, and you're not going to accept anything else. Um, then you'll still be heading in that direction, even if we have, you know, an off day or an off week or even an off month, you know? Um, so do what you need to do to take care of your body, rest if you need to. All right. For some of us, I'm hearing something about inclement weather. The weather could be a, a factor this week. Okay. So, um, yeah, we'll see what well, we will see about that. Um, whoops. 
spend more time on spiritual growth. Yeah, there is something about um, sacrifices here, but there's something about transformation I was getting. I was getting something about transformative energy. That forgiveness, that healing work you have done, for a lot of you, you've already done the work, right? So it's maybe not so much you're reading right now. I'm getting Marlene too. And I was getting something, a name like Rama or Ramona, Roman or uh, that Ramundo, something like that kind of name, Raul even. Um, so the sacrifices you make today will be worth it. So it may seem like a lot to have to forgive and accept something for it, what it is, because you may not feel like justice was served, uh, Libra. And, uh, but, but it's, it's like, but what, but what's really going to get you to your, to your, to your goals, to where you personally want to be, right? Let's see what we have here for this trust. All right. So while your logical mind is dictating a supposedly clear direction, your soul's inner guidance is urging you to follow an alternative path. It could be more of a spiritually natured path, Libra. So the logical path may be one that you consider safe, more familiar, but you could be missing out on a boundless opportunity and so much more. It kind of reminds me of when I decided to just stop teaching and move into more uh, spiritually based um, a more spiritually based career. Although I feel that we, we can be spiritual people in whatever role we were in, are in. You know, spirituality is not something that I just do from, you know, you know, 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. It's something that's like constant. Um, but sometimes you end up in environments, work-wise, whatever, where you just, you know, when you once you um, decide to go more the, the career route I've now chosen um, over the last several years, with this um, and Reiki and teaching that and all that and coaching and everything, um, it's it's harder to actually fit in because then I did return to teaching and I was like, oh, I don't really fit in anymore into this because for for so long I'd been focused on um, my own healing journey, which led to you know I guess you could call it ascension or or whatever you know kind of. Uh, really deep spiritual exploration and uh, appreciation, and and then to to kind of go back to like the day to day of a, of a of a a job in an institution. Um, it was very uh, school being an institution, you know. Um, it was difficult to say the least. But spirit gave me lots and lots of signs. So Libra, you might be getting signs of your own. All right, I'm having Peacock come in too. Now Peacock, it's like. Let your let yourself live. Let yourself shine. Be proud of how of of where you stand right now, because where you stand might not necessarily be exactly where you want to be, but it's probably a lot better than where where you were a few years ago. Okay, for some of you, you know, for some of you, that's not the case. But I think for the majority here, um, you've continued to make progress, whatever progress means for you. We have instant manifestation. Libra, you just had this for your April blessing um, reading that I did for you, which was um, last Tuesday. So this is about, uh, it's, it's, it's your soul and your mind working together to create a dream. Now, so interesting, Libra, because we just had this card about, you know, inner guidance, logical mind, and just sort of like the logical mind versus the alternative path, which probably is for a lot of you is spiritual growth or or something that really feeds your soul that may not make as much money. I mean, huh? you know, that's a big, that is a big thing when you decide you're not, you're going to leave your very well-paying, uh, secure job then, and then go into something where you have, you're new at it and you don't know, you know, I know exactly what that feels like Libra. And so that's when, you know, trust is coming in here and the, there's, there's a lot of encouragement here about, um, you know, you've got nothing to lose. If your intention is pure, get ready to receive. You, in fact, carry the dream, Libra. You keep it alive. So soul and mind working together to create a dream in your heart. And the logical mind, you know, again, uh, maybe wanting to mix in there. And you may feel fogged in. You may feel that confusion here, Libra. But um, if you don't try now, then when will you? Um, it's maybe never, just like people say, it's never a great time. Well, I won't actually, I'm going to skip that comment. Someone's not going to like that. I can feel, sometimes I'm getting messages and then I feel, oh, that's not a good thing to say. And I just feel it, you know, and the guides will stop me, even though they're the ones who gave it to me. I then suddenly will pick up on somebody's energy out there and be like, nope, I'm not saying it. So 
anyway, so that happened. That's very interesting. You may be finding yourself stopping yourself from saying something this week. And we did in fact have, you know, things like, um, you know, making sure you're avoiding conflict and chaos, not by brushing things under the carpet or anything like that, but by keeping yourself where you want to be and, and avoiding getting kind of sucked into things that, that are just going to um, help make you feel down basically and to suck you down. And, and, you know, and that's some people, that's what they want. They want you to um, do that. And, you know, I've, I kind of, I think I heard somewhere from like a communications coach or something, not that I took, but like online that I saw. And he was saying like, you know, uh, you can, if you're, you know, in an argument or someone says something really offensive to you, just be quiet and like look them in the eyes and them kind of going about their way and having their little tantrum or continuing to, to hurl insults or whatever. It's like, you appear to be winning because you're the one who's calm. And if it's about like winning and losing or whatever, they're the one who's flipping out over there. And, and again, that's like their reflection, their reflection of their own reality. And a lot of the times things really are so misplaced when we're getting, um, you know, kind of, uh, I don't know, just, just, uh, dissed basically. I don't know if people still use that word, but when you're being like put down, insulted, or if someone's angry, you know, and it's like, they are not be able to control their emotions. That's just it. They're not able to control their emotions about it. And I know, you know, lots of people, it, you know, we all have less than our less than best moments. Right. Um, but, but if you can, if you can, maintain um your your you know growth and your integrity um and keep yourself where you want to be then you'll end up where you want to be not where some low low vibration thing might try to pull you into or, or down or whatever so um if you walk into a room and one person's you know having a fit and the other one's you know calm and uh not in a sarcastic way but you know it, it appears that um that other person is really the one at a loss, the one who's really flipping out. So I don't know how else to say that. I hope that was a good example for you. But <laughs> All right. So progress and growth are heading your way here with this progress card. Some of you, it's actually like a physical fitness goal that's coming to, to uh, fruition here. So this is embracing whatever opportunities you do have. Some of you may be able to sign up for something that's now reduced cost or free Libra. I'm picking up on that for you. And some of you have just the potential to attain remarkable achievements. Okay. It's about reaching those new heights. And actually that that's like kind of similar to what I said in the timeless message on Thursday, going back to that, these are new heights here. This like ascension based on the work you've done, the progress you've achieved. This is you now going to uh, new levels. And I feel a lot of you are really doing that because you've made your spiritual journey, your journey of healing, which we're all healing from something your priority. Uh, wow. All right, Libra. So get this other card, the great gathering. So it's all coming together. You're getting into intuitive hits. You may be finding that some of you are in fact connecting to your soul tribe, if you will. Um, so a lot of things could be coming together for you, Libra. And we also have, I'd like to actually go into love right now and see what comes out for this. And then we'll go to finances. Whoops. So a few cards came out for love. Now, this is not going to be everyone's situation. But we have a seven of swords, leaving in secrets, disillusioned, a page of pentacles, and a six of swords. This is certainly um, a, a moving on kind of, kind of energy here with this. You know, you may be moving on to, because you may be moving away from an immature energy Libra. Um, again, because you've made such progress, you may have drifted apart. Remember underneath here, we have that eight of cups. We also have a 10 of swords. So you may actually be ending some sort of relationship by your choice. Like you're deciding that you're ending something. Now it doesn't have to be romantic love, Libra. It could be, you know, it could be with a friend. It could be with a colleague. It could be with a job itself. Who knows? But, um, yeah, if, if, but those of you who are looking for the romantic love part, um, these are the cards for that. So you know, this could have been some sort of deception you picked up on. Again, a very immature, it could have been an earth sign and, and deciding to walk away actually. And I just heard something about this person's, they have a lot of like fear. They're afraid of their own shadow. So you could have been facing someone, not to put anybody down, but someone who was kind of in a, a very cowardly energy. All right. What else do we have? I'm hearing brandy or Branton. 
Okay, so you have the six of wands in reverse. So you could be feeling as though you tried something and it was unsuccessful, okay? You could have been in some sort of situation where you missed your mark or something. Um, the name mark could mean something to you. I heard Louie as well. And I just actually heard Honolulu. So maybe you have a Hawaii connection. Um, but yeah, so there was, yeah, and the King of Swords. So this is somebody, it could have been somebody who, um, oh man, this could have been someone who really was like kind of picking you apart. Um, so a very intellectual energy though, but you, oh, and you could have felt as though um, in this relationship that you didn't quite make it to a certain level. There could be some uh, despair and confusion, but I do have an Ace of Pentacles. I feel as though there could be a second chance with this person if you want it, Libra. Because you could have simply had some sort of false start because just because the Six of Wands in reverse doesn't mean the energy of that successful victory and being recognized for all the wonderfulness that you are isn't, um, isn't still there. It is still there. It's just there could be something kind of blocking it. All right. Um, I'm just picking up on someone having kind of just anxiety in general and just possibly about love. Um, this is about conquering. Okay, Libra. So this is victory will be yours. I was just saying the Six of Wands energy, that's, you know, your success and all that and being recognized and everything. You do, you will in fact have that as this card indicates. Okay. That's the a huge Ace of Cups. You've got an Ace of Pentacles. So I do feel that you have a new offer in love. It may or may not be with this same exact person, but there you are overcoming something here. I feel as though you're overcoming your fear or they're overcoming theirs, but this could be something or someone coming back. It could also be something new. There's also something here about a strand of hair or DNA. All right. You may get some news on that. I just heard DNA solves the case. Ooh, that's kind of chilling. It reminds me of, you know, the shows on TV, like cold case files or something. Maybe you're watching a lot of that and you, you just watched a rep, you know, something where you know, the DNA solves the case, which it often does, but maybe it was specific to hair even. Ooh. Okay, so um, we have the four of wands here, and this is uh, about that commitment, that new home, that happiness, the stability. And it can also tie into this forgiveness. Once you've kind of totally let go and released something from the past, um, you know, you're able to have that new start, but it's going to be in perfect timing. That's what the 1111 four of wands has has to do with. Okay. So then the two of swords. All right. So having some sort of, okay. So this is all, here it is again. Oh, Libra. Here it is again, that big decision, that big, important choice. Okay. So this could be something, uh, it's, it's a commitment, but it's not necessarily happy or it's a commitment, but, um, or some sort of like achievement, like you get what you want, but you might have you might still have certain feelings about it. So I know that sounds like a tricky, uh, like a, a trick of the way I'm saying it, but it's, it's not. If it's your story, you'll definitely recognize it as such. And then you have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're taking time walking away. So there is a couple of walking aways here. There's also, though, again, there's something here where it has the potential of being good, but something could be going on in the relationship right now where you're not sure which direction to go. So we have three very different stories here and something else, opinion matters, I heard. Nine of cups here, feeling content and satisfied. Yeah, okay, so some people um, could have been feeling at a really good spot here. Nine of cups, queen of wands, five of wands. There could just be a little bit of conflict here. I'm actually picking up on envy. We have somebody, overall outcome though for this, 10 of wands. Okay, so I mean, that's like something could definitely be... Uh, now, the thing that's tricky about the Ten of Wands is, yes, it is a burden and all that, but the person is like, they, they're they the ones who have the harvest that they're carrying. So they did the work. They have all this growth. So regardless of what happens, they're in a better place for it. Um, and then, you know, again, hard work here. So it's the Ten of Wands is about working hard. And they're very close to the end there. The Ten, in fact, is, you know, that the completion. And then what do you get? You get the one. One zero turns into one. So um, you get that new start. And um, let's see, speaking of new start, we have a page of cups. So it might not be, you know, exactly what you want coming in um, after some sort of possible disruption, but but there is something, it could be uh, also just an immature energy as well. Um, this person could have a dog that actually they did not properly train, I'm just hearing. 
Um, but um, so there's there could be some sort of gesture where where this person uh, does want to in fact work on things and put you know um, things aside that may have troubled you both. Yeah, page of swords. Yeah, they really want you to hear them out, Libra, and they don't want you to believe everything you heard about them uh, with this page of swords. All right, but there's certainly that level of um, oh Libra, pick me, pick me, you know. <laughs> All right. And then, uh, okay. Yeah. But there's like a juggling energy. Yeah. Juggling here Four of pentacles, holding things closed. I'm getting sort of a, uh, kind of a self-absorbed sort of energy. Somebody yeah, could have been, could have been kind of a uh, stingy with things or with their feelings even. So they could have been a little closed off. Uh, but now it's like, you know, without, or they could have actually, yeah, juggling. What were they juggling? Were they trying to what, who were you competing with or what were you competing with as far as their attention and their time? Why wasn't it being put into the relationship when you actually put all that in? And then you have the six of cups. So this could feel like a very past life connection. It could, again, a very immature energy, possibly. Um, somebody may want a relationship, but they just can't put the work in. Um, they're having a hard time with that for whatever reason. Um, so I don't feel that all is lost, though. I really don't. Um, I feel as though for some of you, it is taking a break and needing some alone time to get clear. Because remember, Libra, as much as, you know, uh, is, is it's about someone choosing you, it's actually more about you choosing them. When that comes to everything too, when you're uh, going for a job interview or something, you're interviewing them. Do I want you to be my future employer? So never like, t never let anything take your power back or down or dim your light or anything. You You are just as you know, important, you, what you want matters just as much as that business or that other person or your, your relative or neighbor or whatever, you know, so I know it's tempting sometimes to, um, to just, you know, want to help and heal everybody else and support everybody else. But sometimes Libra, you need that for yourself. And sometimes you're the only one that's going to give that time out for yourself. So take it while you can and don't feel bad about it. Okay, Libra. All right. And what you see matters most, Libra. How you see yourself matters most. Money-wise, what do we have? Actually, I'm getting that one after I get this one. Money-wise. So if you enjoy these readings, please consider liking, subscribing. I thank you very much for the lovely comments you leave me. And if you don't already have the notification bell turned on, go ahead and turn that on because then you'll not miss a reading, hopefully. Although I have heard that some people are saying that YouTube is unsubscribing people and it has, and they have not done that. So check and make sure you're still subscribed, please. Do it for both of us. <laughs> okay. All right. So, oh, for some of you, yeah, I did say for some of you, it is going to be um, good, good as far as money. Yeah, you could have some sort of payday. I think I actually said the words payday. So that's really cool. I remember that energy was right over here. And then you have competition. Now, yeah, for some of you, there is competition um, as far as uh, not just when it comes to career. Again, there could you could just feel like you're competing um, for someone's time or, yeah, to be chosen, um, that sort of thing. And you could feel like you've made a lot of effort. And at some point, Libra, we can make all the effort and we can try and try. We can do the follow-up emails or the you know, texting a couple of times or whatever, but eventually it's like, you kind of get your answer when you don't hear back and it's been a while, you know, it's kind of like, that's that, you know, and sometimes, and I know it's hard, Libra. Um, I actually had a hard time learning this myself because I, I'm very like communicative and everything and wear my heart on my sleeve too. I have a lot of water in my chart in addition to a lot of Libra, <laughs> but, uh, and I got some fire too, but, um, <laughs> anyway, um, you know, it's like I I had to learn that 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 non closure is closure. So sometimes that closed door is in fact just what it is a closed door. Like it's sometimes that um, you know the not hearing back is your answer, or someone not wanting to have another conversation about you know something is. Um, it, you can still have closure, even if that other person wasn't willing to come to the table again and, and um, have like that final talk or something. We don't always get that. A lot of times in life, we don't. A lot of times we don't get told the truth about why we weren't chosen or hired or uh, why this person, you know, 
I don't know, I haven't done this in a while, but dating, you know, I haven't dated in a long time, but like, um, you know, why they were, why they didn't choose you basically, you know, so you could feel that they have other options or whatever, uh, regardless of what it is. And, you know, why weren't you chosen? We don't always know, you know, we're not always going to know. We just have to be okay with the fact that, so that wasn't meant to be, you know, that, so whatever, that's the closure, right? That's, that is the closure. Basically not having that final answer is in fact the answer. Uh, I know that might sound strange, but I've talked about this before about that, about letting go of our need to have closure be a certain way, you know? So, you know, a lot of things are, we get our answers in ways that are unexpected and sometimes it is just never hearing back, you know, and that's not always what we want, but you may have an unexpected expense. So um, although you're having this payday that some of you may know is coming, make sure you're not spending your money before it has in fact arrived. Um, I'm getting that for some of you. And some of you I'm actually getting, it could be, um, uh, oh, I just realized there's a stethoscope. I just It could be a medical bill or a veterinary bill, okay, that could be a, a little unexpected. That doesn't mean, oh, horrible news, bad things are happening. It just means that you could get, something could cost a little more or something could be needed, um, a new medication or something or something's no longer covered or whatever. It could pop up, all right? So make sure that you're, you're uh, prepared for that, Libra, that you're prepared for, you know, somewhat of the unexpected here. Exploring. Okay, so this is about you exploring different potential t um, paths for success. All right, so um, you could be shopping around for better offers and opportunities, actually. This is about co um, career exploration, providing you with clarity on what matches you. Again, like I said, when you're there for an interview or you're sending out letters or whatever you're doing, you need to make sure that you want them, right? That's the first and foremost. Do you really want them? And not put so much pressure on if they want you. That's kind of like the least of your worries in a way. <laughs> Will you be happy there enough to want to stay and not have to go through more transitions, right? You know, finding that place where you can actually stay. So this is, a, you know, there could be, you could have a lot of interests, Libra, and that could be making it more difficult there rather than just, you know, honing in on one. Okay, and activation. You're activating your soul purpose and receiving gifts, uh, spiritual gifts. So this is about, you know, when you're focusing too much on the material world instead of the spiritual world, we can get lost. We can be misguided, Libra. And so this is about you awakening your soul and tapping into your ancestral memory, your inner wisdom, uh, all that you've been through to guide you into what is it that you really truly want. Comfort. Yeah. Well, don't we want comfort? Well, when you get this payday, you may feel your, find yourself in a little more of a comfortable situation. You may be able to pay off some bills. Some of you may be getting a tax return. Okay. Uh, I did just hear that. So your income, you know, this is about either getting that nice bonus or, you know, just things becoming a little more steady. So this is about if you keep raising the bar and get out of your own comfort zone and allow expansion to come in and allow things to come in in different ways, huh, and you're opening to your spiritual source, as this card indicates, you know, a lot of good things may come from that. But if we don't, you know, if we're, if we're narrow, like this one, like this one says, uh, the narrow focus, um, or we're expecting anything in life really to just turn out one specific way, you're kind of limiting all the uh, possibilities that could be even better that you haven't even thought of that universe is wanting to deliver to you. All right. So let's see what else. Let's get you a few final messages. Let's get, um, I like this self-care oracle. So like practical self-care so let's see what that is practical self-care for libra we'll get an angel a specific angel we'll get our numbers and our animals and we will be wrapping up i always say i'm gonna oh make the reading shorter and then i just don't whoa now okay so you have two for this oh and this one too okay so you have crystal healing all right um crystal healing so some of you may be in fact using the gemstones crystals minerals to um just to help yourself feel a little more grounded or you're using them with specific intentions some of you could be meditating with them as well all right so this is about using crystals to raise your vibration and renew your energy and also you know that can connect you to source 
for some of you, nutrition, remembering your body is your temple, try changing eating habits. If you're craving something healthy, maybe you need that something healthy. Uh, and then leveling up, you know, starting small today, just start, okay? Because the sky is, in fact, the limit, even if you have competition. And there's one more that wants to come out right now, sacral chakra. So it could be that that chakra is out of balance, um, you know, and this is our second chakra. It does have to do with our creativity, um, with our, with our um, you know, uh, ability to co-create. It's in your lower abdomen, okay, about uh, an inch or two below the navel, okay? And if it's balanced, you might be, you're, you know, you're, you're like fulfilled, in a good mood, playful, maybe even flirty, friendly, passionate. And if it's underactive or blocked, then you could be feeling uh, guilt. You could be afraid to interact with people. You could be overly concerned with what others think. As I said, what matters most, Libra, is how you see yourself. Okay, now crystals, speaking of crystals that you could work with for the sacral chakra, orange, basically, ones that are orange or even brown. So you could do um, uh, tiger's eye might, yeah, well, tiger's eye can also be solar plexus, but a lot of the times the, the two are linked as far as, you know, um, feeling as though your creativity or your ability to co-create or whatever is, isn't happening. A lot of it's because you're not believing in your own willpower, self-esteem. And we did have that self-esteem card right over here for you. So, um, but gemstones, it's, um, we have orange calcite, uh, uh, topaz, carnelian. Those are said to be pretty good for the sacral chakra. And I would also say, um, oh, what is it? Um, uh, oh, what is it? Uh, sun, um, sunstone that could actually help too. And yeah, I believe it's sunstone. Yes, yeah, sunstone. Yep, sunstone. It's a, it's just a very uh, gentle sort of peachy color. Um, so that that could also be helpful, as could some type of uh, agate in the peach family, even um, or orangey family. So yeah, and and also you might just surround yourself with the color orange. You know, if you want to connect and unblock a certain chakra, you can always. Um, connect with it, with the foods you eat, with what you, with the clothes you wear, um, with certain scents that are, you know, like maybe orange essential oil, that sort of thing. It's making you think orange, you know, you're, you're, uh, it's a lively kind of scent, that sort of thing. So, and then also just remember, uh, challenge yourself to do better. Don't set limits on your potential that keeps, uh, coming back Libra. And, you know, I'm not trying to force anybody to do anything ever with these readings. So you just take what resonates and leave the rest. The decision is yours. Some of you may already be just pushing way too hard. Okay. And that's why I want to make sure I'm clear on that because some of you are just pushing too hard as it is. All right. So learning and the wheel. So we didn't get the wheel of fortune, but we have it right here. This is your fate, your destiny. There's some sort of turning point here. That for some of you, you're learning something new. All right. You're actually just finding out maybe too that it's okay to have faith in the universe, big changes are coming. Things are in fact working out for you. Okay. This is like feeling tested with a situation, but also, you know, it leads to some sort of truth in the end. And it turns out that then in fact, it was worth it. You have Archangel Verchio. This is the angel of lifestyle and affection. Leo energy here with the sun card 36. Oh, and you have citrine for the stone. So that's a solar plexus. So again, that ties right in nicely here, Libra, with the self-esteem card here of the uh, solar plexus chakra of confidence, okay? So taking pride with the Leo the Lion here. Uh, so this is, a, you know, about generosity, joy, pleasure, optimism, vitality, leisure, heart center, fulfillment. So you have all these different chakras coming in, Libra. You have, a, you know, um, basically all in every reading but you know right now it actually popped up as throat chakra sacral chakra solar plexus and now we have um a heart centered too and i feel that um with all the spiritual stuff it's also you know you're connecting to um your first chakra there you're sorry your seventh chakra there the crown chakra okay because you've got you know clear quartz in this picture and things and that's about your spirituality divine guidance how you connect to the divine so this is about this angel says, I inspire joy. I support time off, see, <laughs> in order to live a vibrant, fulfilling, and pleasant life. It's okay to pamper yourself. 
July could mean something. And then there's take time away. Maybe you're going somewhere in July, Libra. What else do we have? Oh, let's get you an affirmation. Love that a little affirmation to remember as we go into this week together. Let's see. And Libra, I just need to tell you, remember, you are not actually alone. Okay. You are not actually alone. Somebody needs to hear that. I'm listening to my intuition and being guided every step of the way. That could be an affirmation. I'm listening to my intuition and being guided every step of the way. And then you also have, I'm following my passion and finding my purpose. Yeah, there you go. And creating is what you're doing. I'm aligning with my soul purpose. My life is just beginning. Yeah, for some of you, it is just beginning. Um, and when I talk about the nutrition card, please remember I'm not a doctor or nutritionist, okay? I have to say that um, because I need to. It's part of my disclaimer. Horse, this is about power and freedom, Libra. So embrace your untamed spirit. Find liberation in your journey. Freedom isn't just a destination. It is a state of being, okay? And I want to get um, angel number cards and we'll be all set here. So you had a horse. You did have 1010 pop up um, in this reading. But other numbers, you have 13, 13. Some of you actually find 13 to be lucky. So it's a sign of courage. Follow your heart and go for what you desire. And then you also have, oh, this is a big one, Libra. 4444, four, 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 a sign of divine intervention. So the universe has heard your request, Libra. It is okay. You're okay. Things are going to be okay. All right. Oh, and what do you know, Libra? Okay, 1010. Yeah, that is 1010. Sign of a new path awaits. So let your soul grow. Trust in your new beginning, Libra. Kept bumping the camera there. Sorry about that. All right. So that's what I have for you. Please do like, share, subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thank you so much, Libra, and have a wonderful week.